Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Uh, I'm gonna start making my plug collection video. I mean, okay, I mean, I already have a plug collection video. I'm talking about a collection of videos about plugs, stretching advice, about information and uh, knowledge I have about uh, stretching your ears and um, different plug companies, um, a lot of stuff like that. I'm gonna put it all into a big um, playlist so that if people want to know stuff and like use me as like one of their resources of you know information and advice and experiences um, you can go ahead and just go to that playlist um, I already have it but mostly it's just full of like um, plug company reviews and different plugs that I have and stuff like that but right now I'm actually going to start doing like advice and um, talking about my experiences and talking about um, safe ways of stretching and stuff. But today I'm going to start off with making this video about the benefits of having half inch plugs. Half inch is about 12 millimeters or 13 millimeters. The um, flare for like um, double flared or whatever is about like, you know, around 14, um, sometimes maybe even 15 millimeters. So that's what you have to have your ears like stretched to about if you want to have um, double flare plugs, which are like when the plug is like, um, it's like a flare, like it's like shaped like that, and the ends are bigger, um, so that your ear, so you don't have to wear like a. Um, let me show you an example of something that's not a double flare. So like this has one flare on it because when you unscrew it, it you you just pop it in. Like you know you don't have to actually stretch your ears a little bit more than the actual size it's going to be. So first of all, I wanted to say that um, everyone has their own preferences. Everyone has their own opinions on plugs and um, stretched ears and stretched jewelry. Um, everyone has their own ideas of what size they want to go to. And to be honest, the most thing I've heard ever is people saying, yeah, I think I only want to go to about zero gauge or double zero gauge. Usually people usually choose like zero gauge because they think it's huge. But then once they get there, they're like, this is really small. I want to go bigger. And then after that, sometimes people find themselves in this place where like they don't know when to stop. They don't know when it's big enough, they don't know if it's too big. And usually people will get kind of into the habit of stretching their ears every time it's finally healed. Usually people will stretch to about double zero with tapers, and that's when they start to have to use tape, like, um, like regular bondage tape from like, I got this from Spencer's. And, um, or like they, they can use like uh, medical adhesive tape or um, Teflon tape. In order to, to stretch up to like about half an inch, I used the taping method. So I would like tape my plugs up to that size. I kind of skipped 7 sixteenths, which technically you can't really skip sizes when you're, when you're taping up because technically you're at every single size in between when you're stretching up because what you're doing is you're basically adding a layer every time your ear heals. The actual reasons why I decided this is the perfect size for me personally is because one, like, I mean, just for my ears, personally, personal, personal, personal preference is that I just think it's like the perfect size for me. Like, I think it's just big enough, just small enough um, for me. Like, the way it looks on me, I just like the way it looks in my ears. I like the way it's perfect, like, just, like, in general, everything is in proportion, in my opinion. Um, I like the way it looks on me. And I like that it's not, like, too wimpy, too small of a size, but it's also not huge. And, like, people who are freaked out by plugs aren't completely grossed out by how big my ears are because they're not that big. They're actually, um, smack dead in the center of what people would consider a medium stretch size because like small sizes and then there's the medium sizes and then there's the big sizes as plugs get bigger they get more expensive and so you know when you when you're buying plugs like usually like you'll you'll um you'll see that you'll select a size and when you go up in sizes it's more material it's more of that material so they cost more the bigger they are because it's more material that's used to make those plugs bigger and um so i get why it's more expensive but like i just don't really want to spend that much money on plugs depends on the material like if you get um like stone plugs and they're expensive you'll usually understand why because they're 
they're they're they're good quality. They're good for your ears. They're better quality than a cheap, you know, acrylic plug. You know, the smaller your sizes are, the less expensive they're going to be. So, if I were to go up from this, I would have to start pay paying way more money for plugs than I would at this size because this is a really good size. Like, it's not too much money to spend on plugs this size. Um, also, detailed plugs like. For most companies, if you look at their websites, usually um, for like wood engraved plugs, so like plugs that are made of wood and have engravings or like acrylic plugs with like really pretty designs on them or like, you know, steel with like really nice wood inlays and stuff, um, those usually aren't available at small sizes because you can't see little details on small plugs like you can't see that so usually plug companies will start making those designs on plugs just as small as half an inch like that's like usually the smallest size they'll they'll agree to making plugs with details on them on the other hand um there's there's also plugs like bullet plugs or plugs with like you know like five shot barrels or whatever uh i don't know what terms sorry um, but like, you know, there's ones that are like crystals or like certain shapes that you can't get at bigger sizes because they're not able to make ones that big. So usually sometimes the biggest size you can get them at is half an inch because any bigger it would not look like a bullet. Like, you know, like, you, have you seen people with like bullet plugs? Like, you can't really get them in the size bigger than half an inch sometimes. Some cases. Half an inch is the smallest size you can get plugs, but in other cases, half an inch is the biggest size you can get plugs. You get me? So it's like kind of like the perfect in-between. Also, um, stretch ears are becoming a way more um, common thing, and so like in the work industry, many um, companies, like you know, professional jobs, like like workplaces, like an office, um, usually won't allow that, but some that do allow a certain size like the this there'll be usually a size limit and the most common size limit for most places is usually about half an inch which they usually just say like the size of a penny or something um is as big as you can go with uh stretch ears and that's about the size of half inch um around that size you know around um seven sixteenths to about um three fourths Oh, also just the fact that it's easy to say and remember. Everyone knows how big an inch is, so everyone knows how much half an inch is. Like, they just know that it's half of an inch. And that's really easy to say, it's really easy to remember. It's not hard, like, like, five eighths, is that even it? Five eighths, which is the next size up. And the size below it is seven sixteenths. Like, those are really hard to remember compared to one slash two to the mark thingies. Oh, also, the fact that they're this big, it's like the perfect size that it's just big enough that it won't fall down my drain. Like, because my drain, like, in the shower, I actually clean my ears, like, in the shower, like, I take out my plug, and I clean my lobes, and clean my jewelry with my, um, my face wash. My drain, it's like a circle, duh. And then, like, there's, like, there's crossbars down, like, on it. My plugs are just big enough that they won't fall in through those cracks. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, okay, yeah. No, I think that's about it. Um, I, I was looking for more, but not many people have a video like this. But this is just personally my opinions on why I personally like my size. Um, sometimes I really do think that my ears are too, like, small. But then sometimes, like, everyone else is like, no, those are too big. And I'm like, really? What? And so I just, I stay here because if some people think it's too big and then some people think it's too small, it's kind of the perfect in-between. I know, exactly. But, um, yeah. Okay, so I think that's about it. So, um, thank you for watching my video. Check out my other plug videos. They'll be, um, in a line, in three of them here below. Um, probably, like, a playlist will be there as well. Um, yeah, so just check out those videos if you want to. And stay epic, everybody. Bye.